Hey guys, welcome back to Fable. We're going to the archery range today. Let's do this. Are you ready for your archery? No, train? but let's do this. Let's continue our training with the bow. All right, so we got a U longbow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets, and put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. Okay. But make sure you stay within the circle. All right, so we're gonna use E and lock on using space. And then we're gonna use the left mouse button to draw back the arrow and release it to fire. So here we go. Let's go ahead and lock on here. Now lock onto the target. Now lock onto the target. Can you stop? I hit it, we're good. Well done. You hit all the yeah. targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. So let's see how you fare against moving targets. Okay. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point. The middle one is worth three. And the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. Okay. More damage means more points. But you have to balance power firing rate and accuracy. Okay. Let's see what you can do. All right, to switch to first person view, press the right mouse button while drawing back an arrow. You can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel and um, just release the right mouse button. So let's see. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. That, that's not the right thing that we wanted. So let's go ahead and go into first person view. Sweet. Let me go into first person view. It's actually being a bit of a brat about it. Not gonna do too well on this. Come on. Just keep going here. Yeah, it's like it's being a bit of a brat. I'm pushing the button and it's like not wanting to go. Okay, there we go. Nice <laughs> what was that? Shut up, Guildmaster. Try to get a handle on the controls here before anything else. We're not gonna do too well here, are we? Oh, too early. Meh. Not bad, but try firing more power. You want me to do it again? Uh, now we're good. Next, we will learn about the ways. What's of the, the will? Rule. Speak to me when you're ready to continue with your training. I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. All right, can we just continue like right now? It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies lightning. with lightning. Lightning. All right, let's see what you've got. All right, press and hold left shift to access your will powers. Available powers powers will be displayed at the bottom of the right of the screen. Okay, whatever. Uh, two powers can be accessed this way. Left mouse button and right mouse button. To use your lightning power, hold left shift and left mouse button. So we're gonna click this. You can see in the bottom right, it's actually like doing stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice. That's it. See how many you can hit in half, half a minute. minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. Okay. Arrow. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You'll only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana. And once used, it takes time to replenish. All right. So, okay. So to change target, press and hold space. Get out behind my desk. Then move target the camera to the new target. Press space to lock onto the new target. Hey! Get out. Go. Get. Okay, let's read that again. To change targets, press and hold space, then move the camera to the new target. Release space to lock on to the new target. Okay? So it looks like we want to do these guys. Let's go ahead and strike them. Oh, 
Okay. Excellent use of magic. Well done. Uh, no, let's continue. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three well, hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring so the Let's guild. just get going. I believe Whisper is about to go into the Guildwoods, if you wish to join her. Uh, do you wish to continue to the next stage of your training and into adulthood? Uh, let's just move on. I hope you're ready. Truly mastering a hero's skills takes years of practice. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his hey, training. That was fast. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own It's never destiny. that easy though, right? He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test Kay. you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good okay, okay, so we're going into the guild woods. I'm gonna take this. Why not? Let's go. We're just gonna, we're gonna just do this. We've been at the guild long enough. Three episodes? Yeah, that's plenty. Who, what? I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then. It's simple. You must you. defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. Met Obi, yes. And we'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you Kay. can. Um, where'd he go? Can you stop with your... Attack me! Am I not doing so? Very good. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do E. All right, let's go ahead and lock on. Go on, fight me! Put some anger. Anger? Why anger? Six Come on. and seven. Excellent. And finally, cast lightning at me. Okay. So to access our powers, where is he? Uh, man is up on the top left corner. By the way, you guys. Done. That's enough. Yes. Quite impressive for oh, a thanks. novice. You will find real battles rather more yes. fatal than this. But you have passed your that was final it? test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. That was weak. Wait, really? That's all? That's all I needed to do? Alright, well, let's head on out then, shall we? I don't know. That seemed way too easy. What? What's going on? Well, oh God! This is the day. <laughs> what happened to your shading? I remember the first night you came to us, and look Thanks. at you now. Maze's faith in you was so well tall. placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place. Wait. So we passed the, the test. We're going to graduate like right now. The oldest part of the guild. Shoot! Even I had a week after college. Let the apprentices approach. I guess we move on very quickly. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into bored? their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring, and strange winds are blowing. 
your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as guild. Thanks for the nothing. I like how she waved. She's just like, yeah, it's good. It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish okay. heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into okay. new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the step light. Into and the I'll light. Show you how to do this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just step into the light here. First, you must select the area you wish to advance in: strength, skill, or will. All right. Notice your experience pools in the lower left portion of the screen. You acquire general experience by collecting experience orbs, and you automatically acquire strength, skill, and will experience by using your abilities in those areas. Okay, so yeah, uh, will experience becomes you become a better magic user. Skill is for like archer. You can do thieves and traders. And strength is for fighting. Now we have a lot of strength skill points. Ah, you've chosen strength. You could be a great warrior. You can use your experience from melee combat to improve your physique, health, or toughness. Yep. Choose one So we've now. got physique, health, or toughness. Uh, toughness is your armor. Health is your health. And physique is how much you can actually do. I'm going to put some points into health. Health increases the amount of damage you can take. Okay, so the healthier you are, the more damage you can take. It costs 400, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then uh, we got some skill points here. Ah, you've chosen skill. You could be an expert archer or a stealthy rogue. You can use your experience from ranged combat to improve your speed, accuracy, or guile. So speed is uh, agility in combat, accuracy is for ranged combat, and guile is for uh, trading and sneaking. Uh, and then lastly, we've got will. Ah, you've chosen will. You could be a powerful magic user. You can use your experience from magic combat to learn new spells and improve those you already possess. Choose one of the branches of Okay, magic. so first of all, we got magic power, which would increase your mana, but then we have different spells. We got different, like, a. Now choose the spell you wish to learn. We have different attack spells. We've got different surround spells, which is just, like, all sorts of fun stuff. And we have physical spells. We can't buy any of these right now. We don't have enough experience because they cost quite a bit, but we're going to gain more of those later. I'm going to go into skill and I'm going to earn speed. Speed makes you quicker in both range and And as you can see, we've combat. run out of uh, experience now. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer okay. you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate Creepy. with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Okay, so we've successfully completed our training and graduated as a hero. We get two resurrection files, a lamp, Two health potions, a will potion, an apple pie, uh, and then some renown, and a bunch of experience as well. So that's that's good news. To take a quest, interact with the map table by pressing tab. Core story quests are highlighted with the gold icon. So yeah, if we go up to the table, check the guild for more. We, we're right here, dude. Okay, if you go to the table, you can actually see we've got a wasp menace. We need to uh, end the infestation. We've got a snow troll attack. Um, which we don't have. If you look, you can kind of see it says your renown level is not high enough to take the quest. Suppress so uprising and minion camp. So we can only take the wasp menace if we wanted to do that at this point. Uh, first things first, I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do a world save here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do save one. Let's go ahead and over right here. And I'm going to make a backup save. The saves are a little broken in this, it appears. I was trying to get them to work earlier. I had to redo the majority of my childhood because, yeah. And I think we can just leave here if we want. Tab, not E. <laughs> I eat it like we would do in 
Um. Can I eat chicken, Chaser? Do you chase chicken? Really? So, title trader. You've come to the He's got right two place. things we can buy Pie Master and Arse Face. <laughs> chicken Chaser. Uh, titles. I don't know, they're just titles. I really don't have anything else to, to really say here about titles. Except for I don't want to be. Albion's full of I don't want to be any of these things. Let's walk around here. There's a person up here that I can talk to. Oh, used to be an adventurer like I took an arrow to the knee. Look at me now, begging to survive and getting bullied by uh -oh. this brat all the time. You must be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. Use your imagination. Okay. Remember, use this context-sensitive items in the bottom left corner of the screen to access useful expressions. So if you go up to this guy... Let's see. Look at this filthy pile of rags. He really expects people to give him gold. Uh, no. Well, if you want, I'll tell you something that'll really annoy him. <laughs> if you can get him to leave, it'll be so really? funny. Really? No. Well, I'll be here if you change your Let's mind. Let's see here. Can I just, like, punch this guy? I actually can't just punch this guy. Let's get him to go away. Ow! You lousy heroes are all the same. Ha ha ha! Funniest thing I've seen in years! You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends Maybe. in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. Uh, wait, he leaves too? Okay, well, we got some good points for that, so uh, that works. All right, well, that's going to be it for today, though. I hope to see you guys next time as we start our journey as the the scrawniest of heroes, I do, I do have to say. So I'll see you guys then.